This Dodge Ram driver is hankering for a T-bone. One star emergency. Lightly seasoned, with a few shards of glass, flavored with a little coolant smoke from the grill, and served with some plastic trim on the side. Not my first choice for a T-bone. In all seriousness, the camera did sustain some injuries. <laughs> yeah, I burned my arm on the airbag. Turd brain Thomas on a scooter thinks it's a good idea to brake check a car. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you And yet another scooter driver with piss in his Cheerios. The only dum-dums people like are the candies. All the other ones can go to hell, including dum-dum dick-faced Dingleberry Davidson. Stop, stop. He's pretty much a greasy turd on wheels and distantly related to crackhead Kathy's crazy clueless clan. This guy's name used to be Asshole, and now it's Bob. No, I take that back. His name is still Asshole. He seems to have missed the memo that once you turn, you're committed to it. But he makes a bad situation worse. Now he's driving on the wrong side of the road. He used to have a handle on life, and then it broke. Crazy Christopher Creighton forgets that he's not Mario Andretti. Influenced by Shark Week, unfortunately they found that Shark Week's programming focuses on negative portrayals of sharks. Bumbling butthurt Bailey really hates being honked at. What does she do? She went for her left turn prematurely, then acted like a knuckle brain Karen when she heard the horn. I've said it before, if you don't want to be honked at, don't drive like an idiot. This is the star of our show, high strung but not well hung Henry. You see, Henry doesn't understand how four way stops work. You stop before everyone else, you go, it's your turn. your turn, bud. And still not going. He puts the car in park and gets out to show me his Christmas spirit. And his IQ. But I don't have time for any more of his nonsense, so I decide to exit the parking lot a different way. Then you are forced to reckon with them, with, with people as they've already answered. So what do you do? If you have a four-year university, and I think a lot of kids went and they got like degrees in like in literal theology. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, what do you do with that? Here comes Stevie Stinkerbell. Why do we call him Stinkerbell? It's what you call a fairy who has to crap. 
On his rush to get to the loo, this happens. Whoa! Oh Holy! My God. Problem is, he made everyone else around him crap prematurely. There's always a malignant-minded Muppet right there to make things more difficult than they need to be. Like this one, who pulls over and blocks the driveway I need to exit, because she needs to play on her phone. This is where her single brain cell really shines, because there's a ton of space back here where she wouldn't be blocking a driveway. Oof, that was as painful as having one's nuts chewed off by a squirrel. I've never seen anything quite like this before. They say that money talks. Well, this guy's money says goodbye with all the tickets he probably gets driving like a complete donkey McDouche nugget. It's amazing how fast things can spin out of control. The oncoming drivers are headed downhill on a wet mountain road, but Slippery Steve gets around like a record. This is where his back end breaks loose. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god! This was clearly a turning point in his life. Also, this is the same highway where I had my spin out, and not very far from this spot. Really? Daniel Doofus picks a great spot to have a conversation about his erectile dysfunction. A few minutes later, he's facing the wrong way and blocking somebody's driveway. Let's not forget about his cracked windshield. Today must be opposite day. Pathetic pea brain Peter stops on a yellow light, then goes when it turns red. Those drivers were about as worthless as my third grade teacher from childhood making me write, I will not pass gas in class, a thousand times as some sort of punishment for interrupting lesson time with a flufferdoodle. This may as well be a series called Douchetastic TV, starring Douchemeister Duncan and Douchemeister Doug, who cut each other off to douche things up in a douchetacular fashion. Oh, that was interesting. Gosh. And there it is. 
somebody's number one. Got some road rage back there. Uh-oh. Yep. I'm not sure if the douche fest ended here, but this most certainly topped the doucheometer. Let me know your craziest road rage story in the comments below. Moron Mikey doesn't have a license. What he does have is a certificate of incompetence. Because here he is, facing the wrong way in the oncoming traffic's turn lane, getting in these people's way. His driving stinks just as much as a 7.4 on the rectum scale. Oh my god! Wow, what a complete idiot. This is a dual turn. Watch this suicidal dumb tard. Douchemeister really pushed the douchometer. Crackhead Kathy's estranged son, Clonopin Clyde, found his license in a dime bag. Now he's about to show off his fuck up skills. He wants to exit in a moment, but he cuts to the left in front of these two cars, only to cut back across the lanes for a dive for the exit. That made about as much sense as crapping next to the toilet. What the? Are you? What the? Look at this guy, stopping on the highway, look at him. Rage is in the air. Can you smell it? I've witnessed more road rage in the last month than ever. Here's the latest example. Guy number one was at the gas pump and is now trying to leave. But guy number two wants the same gas pump, except his gas cap is on the opposite side. So he's coming toward guy number one head on, basically forcing guy number one to go past him on the left. So guy number one honks. Guy number two honked back and throws his hands up in frustration and now wants to chase down guy number one for honking at him. Except he got stopped by oncoming traffic. No retaliation on the menu today. This is what happens when two idiots meet. Tweedledum suddenly sprints into the crosswalk without ensuring that traffic in all lanes is stopping. Tweedledumber fails to heed the flashing crosswalk lights and the driver in the next lane slowing down. Here, the pedestrian activates the crosswalk lights, but you can barely see them in the video because the camera's frame rate doesn't quite match up. But then he makes the sudden dash. Wow. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Wow, that Whoa. was close. Dude. I thought he was gonna get bit. You gotta wonder what type of cereal box certain people got their license from. This guy is Special K, with his cognitive shortcomings and all. He makes a last second dive across the lanes for a turn, then almost runs his red arrow. Four oh four, brain not found. Whoops. 
and whoops. Dickweed Daniel here has a reputation in town, and not the good kind. People have reported him to the police for his reckless driving, but he keeps on being a Billy Badass in town. Here's his latest shit show. All it takes is one move by a dum-dum to create a chain reaction. Let's show you how that works. Blockhead Brianna here is so stupid she sticks her phone up her butt to make booty calls. She's also so stupid she wings her door open with a car coming that then forces me to a panic stop. Sure, just pretend you didn't cause all that. Uh, oh! Wow. wow. She's in a hurry. Oh, Jesus I Christ. I'd love to see a cop pop out and get her. I'd like to see her have a blowout. Wow. Is she gonna run that light? Yep, she just blasted right through that red light. Jeez. This is what a problem child looks like, or shall I say, man child. Just watch. Like your average porn star, this pecker head can only see six inches in front of him. The summer heat is cooking people's brains. Spanky McJiggles over here is about as useless as a porcupine in a condom factory. She can't take the turn without crossing into our lane. And even after honking at her to alert her of our presence, she just has to fail again. Keep an eye on Charlie Chowderhead. In his world, it's smart to just stop right in our path. His ever making sense is about as likely as Dunkin' Donuts becoming a basketball team. We've got some road rage here. The Karen in this red Camry brake checks the red Hyundai for tailgating. She's pissed. And still having a fit. Karen's probably even demanding to talk to a manager. Oh, but the fit's not over. Even after more minutes have passed, Karen with her Karen haircut is still infuriated. If you have a kid in the car, then why are you risking a crash by brake checking people and raging at them? Oh, We're just not quite done yet with her temper tantrum. After the camera stops at the stop sign, she lays on the horn at him. And this is where the clip cuts off. Wow. And now a trio of bumper loving butt sniffers, all captured within a relatively short time span by the same camera. Oh shit. Oh, crash.
What the fuck? These wannabe porn stars can only see six inches in front of them. Where the hell are you going? This clip is sure to make your blood boil, faster than a pot of water at 30,000 feet. This stool sample over here keeps coming over into the camera's lane, despite a horn blowing a couple feet from his or her ear. Dumbass. Why on earth do people ignore the horn honk and keep moving over? The butt hurt is real with this one. This intersection you've seen before is rife with drivers running the stop signs. It's so bad, you'll see people straight up running stop signs here every 7th or 8th car. So, she blew the stop sign while speeding, and she went way out of turn. She's pissed that I called her out for her selfish driving, and she stops in the street to punish me. At this point, I realize how mentally unstable she is, and for a split second, I made a snap decision to get away from her by turning into here. But then this guy unexpectedly appears, and I quickly abandon my escape. I was relieved to see that she was turning off, although she isn't finished with me yet. Soon as I go by, she honks again, stops, and gets beeped at by this driver. And then she pulls alongside me, starts yelling, and lays on the horn, but I completely ignore her. And there she goes. Numbnuts Ned is so dumb, I don't even have to make a joke about him, because he is the joke. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Hit your button. And the guy behind me was not amused by Numbnuts Ned. Let's not forget about the dog in Ned's lap. The chance of Ned ever wising up is about as likely as having a birthday on July 41st. This part of the highway is 50 miles per hour. She feels the need to unnecessarily give up her right of way and come to a complete stop on the highway to let this driver turn who clearly intended to wait for her to go past. That was about as painful as getting a colonoscopy with a hot poker. This guy's driving is about as annoying as buying a pair of gloves, only to realize they're both left-handed gloves, which on one hand is great, but on the other hand, it's just not right. This is a compelling case for giving away a free lifetime bus pass. Are you gonna make your lane change or not? Okay, and running the red light. Running the red light too. What the fuck? What the heck is that guy doing? Let's add changing lanes to the left with the right turn signal still on. And not even needing the left lane at all. Okay. His driving properly is about as likely as cockroaches having their own space program. This next one is perplexing. My wife thinks that these two guys were involved in a road rage affair but I'm not entirely convinced. I think it's just as likely that this dazzling douchebag duo of dumbassery were friends traveling together. You can see Larry Loser aggressively changing lanes, cutting people off, and then speeding. He changes lanes to go around us, just to get one more car ahead. Oh, what a douche. 
just before that, we see Lucas Lowlife aggressively changing lanes too. Except he gets behind us. And then... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jesus Christ! Fuck! What is with people today? Maybe that guy pissed them off. Then they both illegally pass another car. They're after each other. They're gonna cause an accident. Ooh. They're gonna cause an accident. This definitely floored the douchometer. A bad driver never takes a wrong turn, even if it means backing up with traffic coming. Please, don't be the hair hanging off the sponge. Drive sensibly. Here's another reason why it's important to drive predictably, not nice. This is a good way to make one's underwear a little browner, or worse, smashed up. Don't know the full details, but that's my guess. Whoa! Oh, what in the hell is that? Blatantly barbaric Bradley thinks red lights are so last month. Oh, right through the red light. You can see this is a circular green light, which means Turd Brain Thomas over here has a red light. But that means nothing to this meth addict. He barely even has the brains to check for traffic. Serial oh, oh companies really need to quit handing out licenses. It just came in here. This is the type of bozo who would sell his car for gas money. He changes lanes in front of me with no signal. But whatever. But then... We end this compilation with a road rage incident in Toronto. This guy is pissed at this guy. My guess is this incident started before they came into camera view. You can see this guy in the SUV is visibly agitated. And then this happens. Now they're arguing.
Someone took a steaming dump in one of these guys' Cheerios this morning. You're about to meet a crazy lady who needs to lay off the drugs. This incident gets more and more intense as the video goes on, so keep watching to the end. From what I could tell, it all starts when this guy suddenly slams the brakes for no apparent reason, and the lady honks. No big deal. But then, she becomes pissed that he's not driving faster. He's not driving unreasonably slow for the type of road that this is. But she keeps laying on the horn, and at times, swerving like she's going to pass illegally. There's more honking. Not going fast enough, I guess. Then she starts flipping off the traffic in front of her. Oh my gosh. She flips them off again. Once again with the finger. Now. The guy succumbs to her rage and pulls over. Now we're in an even longer line of traffic, yet she thinks honking and being ragey will make traffic just disappear. Once again with the finger. It's crazy. The guy in the van flips her off back. Now the finale. Here she goes for an illegal pass on a partially blind curve. And off she speeds. Wow. You really gotta wonder what the thought processes of the people who act like this are. Remember when I said the sense of entitlement is off the charts? Here's what I meant by that. This Douchesaurus Rex and his wife decide to stop in an active lane of traffic to do God knows what. No dude, you can't park there. They're also blocking a red zone. No, we're not leaving. <sighs> well, we'll walk up to the Mexican restaurant. Let that, let that lady have a fit. Yeah. This is where the clip ends because the camera is shut off after a certain length of time after the car is turned off. 
The roads sometimes seem like the Wild West, where anything goes. This guy thinks he's the Clint Eastwood of badass driving. After a bunch of lane changes and fighting to get ahead, he really gets nowhere faster. We're gonna just ignore this one who waits till the last second to get over. But back to this wannabe intellectual and his continual pointless lane changes. Oh, and the illegal lack of a front license plate. But his brain not found 404 error is the central theme here. More nonsense. Oh, did we just get ahead of him? Guess he's not the badass he thought he was. The guy at the front of the line towing farm equipment stops way back from the limit line to the point other drivers start taking advantage of all that space he's leaving. And he's also not proceeding right on red, basically just sitting there holding us all up. sitting there with nobody in front of him. He's even slow to react to the green light. This person sucks so much, his birth certificate is an apology letter to society, and a warning that he'll make you late to your destination if you ever happen to be behind him. Now we have to be stuck behind him going 15 under. Well, right through the red light, lady. Alright guys, there's a lot more exciting content to come, so be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon, drop a comment below, give us a thumbs up and share. Also, check out some of our other videos. Thank you for watching.